Hi, Frequent Flower subscribers. This is Sarah. I'm here with Main Street Florist and another installment of a tutorial of how to arrange your flowers and learn a little bit more about them that you received for our Frequent Flower subscriptions. So this month, you guys are getting parrot tulips. These are one of my favorites. So parrot tulips are different than just the simple tulips that you probably typically see a lot. We get these into the shop a lot this season. Parrot tulips are a little bit more special. We only get them in select times, but they have um, a little bit of a different look to them. Usually a larger head, more of a scalloped, ruffled petal, and then usually some variegation in color. Um, so like these pinks have almost little flecks of white and yellow and green. Um, these red are really cool that have little, little flecks of yellow. Um, the white are beautiful with touches of green. As you can see, these kind of white and light pink. They just, they have um, a little bit deeper of a cut to them, so they have more of that ruffled edge. So that, that's the way they look. Don't think that we're sending you something wilted um, or discolored. That's just kind of how unique parrot tulips are. So tulips have a little bit shorter of a vase life than a lot of the flowers that you've been receiving. Last month, if you were with us, you received Star of Bethlehem, which a lot of you learned. They're one of our longest lasting cut flowers. Um, tulips are a little bit different. Tulips vase life are typically between four to seven days. Now, it makes me a little sad because they are one of my favorites that they don't last quite as long. But part of that too, I think just reminds us to kind of stay present and enjoy them for their fleeting beauty that's just makes them that much more special um there's also a lot of just unique qualities about a tulip tulips actually keep growing after they've been cut let me say that again so tulips keep growing after they've been cut which is crazy they're the only flower that does that uh, typically they'll grow after you've put, arranged them in your vase, they'll grow another inch or so. Um, in some cases they can grow up to six inches. So you'll notice after you've arranged your flowers, maybe a day or so later that they've grown and kind of changed, um, moved a bit and grown a little bit. That's just kind of what makes them special and unique. They are also geotropic and phototropic. So that just means that the way their growth is affected by both gravity and light. So depending on how heavy the head is, they kind of give that more of a droopier feel, but they also want to grow and bend towards the light. So if you arrange your flowers and you place them on your counter and you've got a kitchen window to one side, you might notice in a few hours, they start to lean towards that light. Um, so like I said, they just, they're unique. They have a little personality of their own. Um, with your cut or your cut tulips, I about said cut roses. My head's still in Valentine's Day mode. Um, with your cut tulips, you're gonna want to change the water out about every two days. So completely dump your water out, rinse out your va vase, put in new cold water with a little bit of flower food, and then trim your stems again and place them back in your vase. That's gonna help them last the longest. Well, let's get started designing. So tulips, I think kind of go best on their own. Uh, we are sending a little bit of wax flower with you just to give it a little bit more of that spring feel. I think we're all ready for spring flowers and for spring colors. Um, so this is wax flower that you'll be receiving as well. But so we're gonna start with these beautiful kind of blush and white tulips. So lots of times the foliage on tulips themselves are what we use in the vase. We don't typically use a lot of other greens. Um, I think it can get a little messy. Tulips kind of want more of that clean, simple look to them when arranged. Um, but if you have any foliage that looks a little sad or looks like it's gonna be draping below the waterline, so maybe some like this, you can just peel that foliage off. But you wanna give every insertion a nice clean cut. And I typically wanna, with the tulips, I'll probably start sort of with my outer rim and crisscrossing my stems to create that grid that's gonna help them stand up. Again, tulips kind of wanna droop a little bit, so you wanna work with that. Some florists do not like the fact that tulips like to change their mind and bend a different way. I think it's fun, but you've just got to learn to, to work with that and understand that that's how they may look. 
sometimes we've arranged a tulip vase that maybe needs to go out first thing in the morning and then we put it in the cooler overnight. We turn out the lights at night. When we come in, those tulips may be bending downwards. Um, yours may do the same, but don't worry. Um, once the lights are on, they're kind of in uh, fresh air again, they'll perk back up. I've got a really kind of tall vase that I'm working with here. You don't have to use one quite this tall. You could definitely use a shorter one and have a little bit more movement. But this is also gonna help as my tulips move and grow a little bit, kind of keep them more in the places that I placed them originally. So right now, this is just the 10 stems. Um, if your subscription is just a 10 stem, a lot of you have 15 or 20. Um, you're gonna need a larger vase, but this will kind of give you an idea. And then our wax flower, we don't need much. And th these are great too, that if you have just a bunch of smaller vases, you don't have to put them all in one arrangement. You could kind of break them up, maybe put some by your kitchen counter, maybe put some by your sink in the bathroom. Um, I love being able to kind of just have them around the house especially during these winter months, just to remind us that spring is coming soon. So I'm just tucking in a little bit of that wax flower, making sure it's down in my water. Super simple. This is not an award-winning design. It's just something simple to make you smile and enjoy. I'm gonna pull up a little bit of my tulips to fill out my vase a little bit more. At one point um, in the Netherlands, tulips were worth more than gold. Like it was a currency they used. Certain varieties were worth more than gold, which is kind of crazy to think about. Um, there's lots of fun tulip facts. I'm just a nerd and I look up tulip facts. That's, that's just what I do. <laughs> Checking my notes to see if there's anything else I wanted to tell you guys about tulips. I just think they're a lot of fun. These parrot tulips, again, are just a different variety. Uh, we've got lots of colors that came in. So you guys, it's, it's just gonna be the draw of the hat of which, which color you get. So I'm excited for you guys to design with these beautiful flowers. Thank you for joining us as a frequent flower subscriber and we'll see you next time.